case for any signs of Karula. You never know. Maybe she pops out and I'm driving all the routes that she likes to hang around in and walk around in. But alas, so far no tracks. But we shall cling on to hope and see. Maybe we get lucky and she pops out somewhere. I really hope that is the case and that she does show herself at some point. This is an area that she used to spend a lot of time with, with the cubs. Pretend, a lot they used to walk from sort of Shibamu Pans and Treehouse. They used to spend a lot of time in these marulas. It was always quite nice to drive along and find Karula draped along the marulas that line this road. So maybe we'll get lucky and she'll appear. It's been that kind of morning. We've had such a spectacular day that it would be just fitting if Karula showed herself towards the end of the drive. Ah, Roger, so this is the burning question that everybody is asking and everybody sort of is wondering about and you're asking what are the odds that Karula is still alive? Well, I mean I don't know, it's, it's possible that she's just somewhere else but I think every day that goes by the odds are decreasing into the side of her not being alive or well, I mean increasing that she's no longer alive. Um, it's just so strange and in my time and my experience here in the Sabi Sands, I've never seen a leopard just disappear like this away from her cubs and her territory for such an extended period of time without being missing. It's not that it won't happen and it can't happen. I've seen it with lions. Lions do it every now and then. But leopards, it's very seldom. And, and the fact is that we really haven't picked up any concrete sign of her. So there's been very little in the way of tracks. We haven't seen anything. We've surmised that there's been tracks, but they're all on peripheries and boundaries of our property where other females roam as well. So it's very possible that they could just be the other females now. As much as we would all like to think that we know tracks that well, it's almost impossible unless there's a key identifying feature to differentiate between one female and another, particularly given that the females that surround this area are all Karula's cubs. So I'm not sure. I really don't know. Like I say, every day that we go, it's a day towards her not being around. So Diego, you're saying that the last time we saw Karula, the wild dogs were around. What are the chances of her being caught by the wild dogs and being killed? Well, Diego, I mean, it is very possible that the wild dogs could have got her and, and could potentially have attacked her. But the commotion around that and the sound that would have been produced would have meant that somebody would have probably picked it up. You must remember that the area that we're in is a number of game drive vehicles out here. So a number of tourist lodges where people come out and see these animals. And so Karula's territory lies pretty much on Juma and then southwards into a lot of other commercial areas. So even though Little Gauri is a, not a commercial lodge, there are a number of vehicles that are on Little Gauri, Elephant Plains, Arethusa, Chitwa, um, Simbambili, there is lots, Jackie Sabi House, they all traverse on, on Little Gauri and those areas around there. So had an interaction like that taken place, I would have assumed a lot of people would have heard it. And if it had taken place during night time, which is unlikely because the dogs are not nearly as active during the night, then we would have found some sort of tracks. You must remember when we drive on the roads, we would have found tracks for dogs and those dog tracks would have been followed as much as possible. And that would have then potentially led us to where maybe Karula was attacked. But So I don't think it was them. My gut feel is that it was more likely to be lions than anything else or hyenas. One of those two would be a far more credible threat. But who knows? I mean, I've seen leopards in this area die from snake bites, so it is possible. Now we do have a monkey that's now dropped, jumped away.